Labour meets Love Island on Mount Kilimanjaro as former Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls and Donnie Dyer have joined Little Mixes Jade Thirlwall and Leanne Pinnock for a Red Nose Day expedition. They will converge with TV hosts Dan Walker, Alexander Armstrong and Anita Rani, NFL sports pundit OSIU Miniora and Strictly star Shirley Ballas as they seek to conquer the 19,000 feet mountain. The Band of Nine begin the ascent in February for a special one-hour documentary to air on BBC One, comic relief organizers said on Tuesday. Kilimanjaro, the return takes place 10 years after the original excruciating climb led by Gary Barlow, which raised £1.5 million for comic relief. Former Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls has already won over TV viewers after appearing on Strictly Come Dancing, Image, Tom Diamond, PA Wire, Ed Balls said, It's an amazing group of climbers, I'm especially looking forward to dancing up the mountain with Shirley Ballas. My whole family are beyond excited that Jade and Leanne of Little Mix will be scaling Africa's highest mountain, too, Donnie Dyer added, I can't believe I'm really climbing Kilimanjaro. Comic relief means so much to me and my family, and the money they raise does so much good, so I'm thrilled to be involved. It doesn't feel real yet, but I'm excited to put my backpack on and get going, following in the footsteps of the likes of Chris Moyles, Fern Cotton and Cheryl, who took part in the 2009 climb. The newly formed team will face a grueling eight-day trek battling altitude sickness and freezing nighttime temperatures, driving them to their physical and mental limits. Pinnock said, It's so amazing to be part of this challenge for comic relief. I can't wait to get to the top of Kilimanjaro, and knowing that we are doing it for comic relief makes it incredibly special. Thirlwall added, Leanne and I went to Liberia in 2014 for Red Nose Day and we have seen firsthand how much work this incredible charity does and how much it is needed. The nerves are certainly starting to kick in for the climb, but I'm lucky I will have Leanne up there with me and I can't wait to get stuck in with everyone. What else is planned? The Climb will be part of a multitude of shows, sketches, challenges, and celebrity fun, all planned for the lead-up to the main event broadcast live on Friday, March 15, beginning at 7 p.m. on BBC One. A short film will reunite the cast of Four Weddings and a Funeral 25 Years on, in a swath of evening entertainment. This comes after an exclusive sneak peek picture of the highly anticipated One Red Nose Day in a Wedding has been released ahead of the premiere. An illustrious roster of comedians have also announced their plans for a spectacular comedy gig held at the SSE Arena, Wembley, on Thursday, February 28, the first of its kind. The comedy troupe includes Russell Howard, Jimmy Carr, John Bishop, Sir Lenny Henry and Alan Carr, with ticket sale profits going to comic relief. OSIU Miniora is a sports pundit for American football image, Tom Diamond, PA Wire, Howard said, gigs like this are great as they help comic relief raise vital funds that enable them to help people here in the UK and around the world. Back in 2017, I traveled to Liberia for Red Nose Day where I saw firsthand how comic relief cash was making a difference to lives over there, it was such an eye-opener, which is why I'm delighted to be joining forces with them again to take part in the first ever comic relief spectacular. So grab your ticket now, for what promises to be an enormous, life-changing night of fun. In a more competitive atmosphere, Lord Sugar is stepping back into the boardroom alongside his trusted advisors Baroness Brady and Claude Linner to cast his eye over a group of celebrities jostling to avoid the firing line. Baroness Brady was a contestant in the first edition back in 2007, striding to victory as project manager for the girls' team, leading to the firing of Piers Morgan, who was accused of winding up his fellow teammates.